To me, the biggest story about AI this week was not the president issuing an executive order to curtail it or the meeting on Capitol Hill with Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg trying to get a handle on it or how it was utilized to finish that new Beatles song. Instead, it was the story out of New Jersey about how male students at the Westfield High School were sharing fake nude photographs of their fellow female students doctored from actual online pictures using AI. There are currently no federal laws in the United States against the creation of sharing non-consensual deep fake pornography. A recent study found the number of pornographic deep fakes online roughly doubled every six months from 2018 to 2020, and that 96% of deep fakes are sexually explicit and feature women who didn't consent to the videos. The incident in Westfield took place over the summer, but officials only learned about it on October 20. The school implemented an investigation and sent out an email asking if a parent or guardian thinks their child is a victim of a criminal act related to the incident to report it to the local police. In a local Facebook group in Westfield, some parents called to punish whoever had created the images. Others saw it as a forgivable, youthful transgression. In a statement to CNN, the school said, quote, we aren't able to provide specific details on the number of students involved and any disciplinary actions imposed as matters involving students are confidential. Joining me now is one of those targeted 14-year-old Francesca Mani and her mother, Dorota. Francesca, thank you so much for being here. Sorry that this happened to you. How did you learn of it? I read the Wall Street Journal Julie Jargon piece, and it said that on a particular day in school, the boys just started to act weird. Yes, so the day before I found out, they were, no girl knew what was happening, but we knew the boys knew something. And the next day, I was called down to the principal's office to be confirmed as one of many students of the AI incident and I'm not gonna lie after I left the office I was crying and while I was walking the hallways I saw a group of boys laughing at a group of girls who were crying and that's when I realized I shouldn't be sad but I should be mad so I came home and I told my mom and I said we need to do something about this because this, this is not fair to the girls and this is not okay Francesca correct me if I'm wrong I don't think you've seen the images do you nevertheless know how many girls were similarly victimized and do you know who was responsible? Um, I know who was responsible and it has been rumored that there are over 34 girls to be involved in this. Mom, Dorota, I'm going to put something on the screen from that Wall Street Journal piece and then I'll ask you for a reaction. I'll read it out loud. It says the following. Even among parents, there's no consensus. In a local Facebook group, some called for harsh punishment for whoever created the images. Others deemed it a youthful transgression that should be forgiven. How do you see it, Dorota? Uh, listen, I've heard over and over that boys will be boys. And I agree, boys will be boys, girls will be girls. Uh, that being said, uh, there's right and wrong. There's legal and illegal. Um, in this situation, uh, you know, they were some boys or a boy, that's to be, you know, determined, who created without a consent uh, of the girls um, inappropriate images. At the same time, when this transpired, uh, I'm speaking, you know, from Francesca's uh, history, um, there were multiple of boys that reached out to support her and say, listen, how can I, how can we help you? This is not okay. You know, we feel so bad. What is there for us to do to make it better? You know, many of them walk her home. So yes, boys will be boys, but there's also right and wrong, legal and illegal. Francesca, do you think that this should be best dealt with by the school or by local law enforcement, the police? I think it should be both. I think the school should contribute to helping this, um, helping make all the girls more comfortable in our school because so many girls don't feel comfortable knowing that he's walking our hallways. And I also think there should be a law inputted against the AI to protect everyone from this. So, Francesca, if you know who was responsible, I presume that others in school know this is the guy. Has anything happened to him as far as you know so far? Um, not really. There is not really, no. Dorota, has there been any communication among the parents, meaning of the girls victimized and the parents or parent 
whatever the situation may be, of the young man that you think was responsible for this? Absolutely. So multiple of mothers, I think over 100 reached out to me. Um, I mean, only the ones who were outraged in the way how Westfield High um, uh, conducted uh, uh, the investigation and how they treated this incident, but also moms of previous incidents that were just brushed off and uh, not taken seriously. So I've listened. Nobody listened to them, so I've listened. Um, I had no contact with um, the other side. I know the name um, as per uh, what my daughter told me and principal of the school informed me there was one boy. Later on, we found out there could be multiple of boys as per uh, Westfield leader, um, but none of those um, parents contacted us. So, Francesca, has the boy apologized to you? No, he has not. Hmm. What would you do if he did? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I think I would stay quiet and I don't think, I just don't think it's right what he did. Right, well, it's indefensible what he did, right? Yes. You know, but I, if I may add something, I'm so proud of my daughter. She's advocating for herself and the other girls. Uh, she's urging me to um, make sure there are other laws in place for New Jersey, so Senator Bramnik is behind our back and making sure that Whatever is right now on the table will be pushed this November, making sure that New Jersey children are safe. She also wrote a letter to President Biden asking him to urge other governors to make sure that there are laws in place to protect our children. So I think this issue is more complex than just Westfield High School. And this is our time and opportunity to treat it as a um, teachable platform to shed the light of the importance of this issue. Francesca, good luck to you. Thank, Thank you, you so Dorota. Thank you. Checking in on social media reaction, Catherine, what do we have from the world of X? Pornography has done irrevocable damage to developing young minds and screwed up plenty of adults as well. Yeah, it's, it's just too prevalent. I mean, it used to have to be uh, hard to find, right? And now it's just, it's the touch of a button. I think it's also impacted relationships and expectations of young men because it's so widely available that they have an unrealistic, well, I said it, expectation of what life's all about.